Uh, sorry for that massive um, pause, guys. It actually wasn't a pause. I had to cut the video because I had some important issues to take care of. One of my friend's fathers died due to corona, and I have been helping him through that for a bit. But anyway, I am back now, and we will jump right back in where we left off, which was basically where Naruto and um, Kuruma were having a bit of a, a fickle. Well, Naruto and the Tail Beasts, along with Sasuke and the Nine Tails, half of the Nine Tails, would have a bit of a fickle. And I don't think I ever mentioned this, but Naruto, because he has been feeding the Tail Beasts over time, his chakras, actually, his um, massive chakra reserves, are cut in ten. Well, yeah, ten. It's one feeding the one, one feeding the two, one feeding the three, four, five. Okay, basically, there's nine different pools feeding the nine-tailed beasts, and one separate pool for Naruto's chakra. Do note, his is still just a bit larger than the nine-tailed beasts, but he does have different nine different chakra reserves, which makes him a massive and great candidate for the hundred healings, which he will not be receiving, guys. Just a heads up. Also, Sasuke's chakra reserves are also much bigger due to him having the nine tails. Who, might I add, is not screwing with his chakra. But so anyway, let's jump in. As Kurama would have uh, looked at them, saying that, Fine, I won't mess with him, but I will not fully accept him either. As Naruto would apply with, That's fine, I'll make you my friend eventually. See ya! As Naruto would basically just ditch the mindscape, and Sasuke would wake up as well. Asking him why he doesn't use this power. Naruto would then explain that, well, you see, kinda don't want to. I think, yeah. Naruto, Naruto would explain to Sasuke, yeah, I don't want to use their power, they're friends. I told you that, didn't I? Uh, Sasuke would try to remember, but wouldn't. I'm just having Sasuke not remember, because I can't remember. Big apology there. So anyway, Sasuke would just accept that Naruto has them as he would just basically dip and then try to practice some more. With Sakura asking, what was that all about? Naruto would then tell her, eh, it's nothing. Sasuke just um got a bit jealous. As Sakura would ask, what do you mean? Naruto would then say, doesn't matter right now. Um, How's your training going? As Sakura would say, it's going fine, why? As Naruto would reply with, I want to spar! So basically, Naruto would spar with Sakura, just purely Taijutsu, and Sakura would end up just causing Naruto a massive imbalance, seeing as she had learned the chakra, like, some more useful techniques. Let's just say that. So let's go ahead and time skip straight to the tuning exams. Naruto can't rely on any of the tailed beasts for knowledge because they don't got squat. All they remember is Hagaromo, and that be death. So they don't have thousands upon thousands of years of experience. They just have about 12 years of experience. And Naruto in this one is actually not so dumb. So now the, the first, uh, when they have to walk in, Naruto would easily pick up on the Genjutsu, seeing as his sand would react to it. His sand reacts to any and all chakra flow. So Naruto would point out that there's a Genjutsu, but not saying this out loud. As Sasuke would say, I can, I can see it as well. Sakura would point out that, yeah, it's actually a pretty flimsy one. As they would end up passing right by, but this is when Rock Lee would pop up and say, Sasuke, I heard you were the strongest. I want to fight you. As Sasuke would be like, yeah, okay. So Sasuke and Lee would have their fight, but um, things would be a little different here. Hang on, guys. So yeah, um, Sasuke would have activated his three Tomoe Sharingan right there and then as he charged straight at Lee. Lee would have still been dominating, but Sasuke would have been able to keep up. He would have been able to block Lee's hits much easier here. And he, he would be blocking Lee's hit, but he wouldn't be able to, to land a decisive blow of his own. As this is when he'd pull some of the Ninetales chakra. He would then quickly use this little bit, um, this small boost. Not a lot of chakra. Just a small bit. Not enough for it to leak out. As he'd use a small bit to uh, as a small physical boost. As he'd start speeding up and rapidly increase. As he'd catch up to Lee's level and quickly start um, evening things out. 
This is when Lee would double back as he wanted to take off his weight, but um, Guy Sensei would come in through the window and kick Lee straight through the face. Everybody would have been weirded out at this, besides Team 10, of course, not Team 10, um, Guy's team. As Guy would say, Lee, what are you doing? That is not, uh, that is your secret weapon. You cannot pull that out. Sasuke would have been intrigued at this, but he would have let it go, seeing as their sensei had stepped in. Well, um, Lee's sensei in the, had stepped in. As Guy would look over at Sasuke, as he'd say, Please, will you be Lee's eternal rival? Sasuke would be kind of confused at this, but just play it off as, yeah, sure, whatever. Lee would be completely and utterly happy at this, as he'd say, Yes, thank you, Sasuke! I promise to get stronger at this and this and that. So, yeah, I don't really care. Let's just jump into the actual writing portion. So everybody would be seated as normal. Sasuke would use his three tomoe sharing gun to basically just copy and paste. As um Sakura would have been using books mods. And Naruto would basically be using his sand to pick up vibrations from the desk as the pencil is moving. Which he would then mimic directly onto his page. You know, so would see that Naruto is actually doing well. Well, Hinata doesn't have much of a crush on Naruto in this one. It's more that um, she respects him and wants to become stronger. To one day be able to repay Naruto. So yeah. This is when um, they were all finished and... Um, Ibiki would reveal the 10th question. Naruto wouldn't have an outbreak like he would in canon. And, like, a bit more teams would leave this time. Like, three, two more teams. It doesn't really matter. It's fodder. The teams that would be leaving this time would be Yeroi's team. Which means... No. You know what? Everybody that's in canon stays in canon. So... Things would be going as normal here as Anka would come in through, well, try to come in through the window as Naruto would have sensed her chakra heading there fast and would have quickly used his sand to open up a window, seeing as he knows what a pain it is for the Hokage to repair stuff and then do the paperwork. So he would quickly open a window, allowing Anko's, um banner to come through without a problem and her following suit. Anka would look around as she'd ask, who the hell did that? As Naruto would put up his hand saying, You were going to cause a much bigger headache for my grandpa. As um, Uncle would have looked and realized that it's Naruto. Yo, what's up guys? It's the end of my dad in here. Back at it again with another what if. And today we will be doing, what if Naruto had all the tailed beasts? So, last time we left off was just at the start of the tuning exams. Well, not the start. Asuma, well, Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura had just signed the papers to join the tuning exams, and Asuma had just run up to give Naruto the knuckle knives. So, let's jump in right where we left off, as Naruto would have just received the knuckle knives, and Konohamaru would yell out, No fair, Uncle Asuma, where's my gift? Asuma would look down at Konohamaru and say, Not yet, Konohamaru, when you become a genin, I'll give you, I'll get you a pair, but a little better. As Naruto would pout at this, but he'd understand that it's either that or Konohamaru would be key, would continue nagging him. As Konohamaru would say, "Yeah, mine's gonna be cooler than yours, big brother Naruto." As Naruto would have just smiled and he would have told Konohamaru, "Well, you better keep training." As Konohamaru would have nodded his head and ran off with, well, asking Haku if she could teach him some more. Haku would smile and nod as she'd say, sure. Naruto would then look at Sakura and Sasuke as he'd say, we need to train. So, the three of them would, well, Sakura and Sasuke would both nod their heads saying that, yeah, they definitely need to train. So, basically, what I'm going to have Naruto do here is he has all nine of the Biju, but he, I'm not, but the thing is, I don't really have him using all of their special abilities all the time. But if I'm going to put it like this, Naruto's about 12. Which means it would be fine if he has about four 
out of the eight tail beasts chakra mastered, which means Naruto at this time will have Shikaku, Matetabi, Isobu, and Son. Ah! These guys are annoying right now, man. Come on. Anyway, he would have Shikaku, Matetabi, Isobu, and Son Goku's. Chakra abilities. They would also be a little bit weaker than the actual Jinchuriki, well, the other Tail Beasts, because they're still younger. But he would have their special Keke Gankai unlocked. But the one that he prefers to use the most being Shikaku's Sand Style, seeing as it was much more practical, and Matatabi's Fire Style. He doesn't really see a use of Son Goku's Lava Style, but he does use his Taijutsu Style. And Isobu's water style is also pretty handy. <clears throat> so let's jump in. Naruto and Sa Naruto, Sasuke and Sakura would be training for the next week. As he would be working really hard alongside Sakura and Sasuke. Sakura making massive improvements here. Seeing as Naruto decided that she needs some extra help. As this is when Sasuke would decide that he wanted to talk to Naruto. As Sasuke would pull Naruto aside and ask him, What's going on with you, dope? As Naruto would ask, What do you mean, Sasuke? Sasuke would then tell him that back at the land of waves, I saw you. You had a ta you had a cloak. You had a weird bubbly aura, just like me. As Naruto would say, Yeah, what about it? As Sasuke would look at him like, What do you mean, what about it? As Naruto would say, what you, what's, what's wrong with it, Sasuke? Sasuke would then point out that, I have the nine tails. Which one of them do you have? As Naruto would say, all of them? Sasuke would think Naruto's messing with him as he'd say, prove it. Naruto would then nod as he would hold out his fist for Sasuke to fist bump. Sasuke would begrudgingly do so as they'd be transported to Naruto and Sasuke's mindscape. Naruto's being a nice forest, well, not a forest, but a massive landscape area for all of the tailed beasts. And Sasuke being basically the Uchiha clan. Yeah. With a massive nine tails in, in the center. As Sasuke would look, seeing that there's nothing there. As Naruto would say, Hey guys, could you come out here? As the tailed beasts would slowly start emerging from their places. As they'd all stand in front of Sasuke. With them being massive, but not as massive as the nine tails. Sasuke would then ask, what's going on here? How do you have all of these? And this is when um, Shikaku would, well, not Shikaku, but Kurama would speak up saying that we're just fragments of the original's, we're just fragments of the original's chakra. We were molded by Orochimaru in experiments. And because of that, we are here. This is when the actual nine tails, not the chakra replica, would speak up asking, How have you grown so big? Answer me. As this is when Matatabi would reply with, Well, actually, Kurama, Naruto over here has been feeding us some of his chakra steadily, causing us to grow alongside him. By the time he reaches 13, everybody except the seven... Well, except the eight and nine tails would have reached their full power. As Kurama would have been shocked at this. As, well, Yuki would then reply with, Yeah, actually, about that, um, we kind of calculated wrong. By the time he's 13, well, Kurama over here, as he'd point to Naruto's Kurama, will be the only one that hasn't been restored to full power. Which could kind of tick off Kurama as he'd be like, Doesn't matter, I'm still stronger than all of you. As they'd all just kind of switch off at this, as Naruto would chuckle saying, Hey, hey, come on now. <laughs> no need to fight. As the tail beast would look at Naruto and all just smile. Kurama, which was behind Sasuke, would be like, Damn it. Damn it all. Sasuke would then ask Naruto, why he hasn't used this power yet, as Naruto, well, Naruto would reply with, Well, you see, I don't want to use their power. I don't want to control them. Using their power is basically just me using them, and I don't want to use them. I want to be their friend. As the tail beast would smile at Naruto, as Kurama here would be like, 
well, the Kuruma behind Sasuke would say, Really? You want to be their friend? As Naruto would say, Yeah, why not? I'd be your friend too. As Kuruma would scoff saying, <laughs> Me, a friend with a brat like you. Don't make me laugh. This is when all the tailed beasts behind Naruto being all the tailed beasts would get defensive and say, Don't you dare insult Naruto. As they'd all be in a basic attack mode, as Kurama would have said, Ha, huh, I'm stronger than all of you, remember? As this is when Son Goku would speak up saying, You might be stronger than us individually, but you're not stronger than all of us combined, along with yourself, Kurama. This is when the realization would hit Kurama that he is stronger than all of them combined, except that he hasn't counted if he he put himself in there. Even if he wasn't at full strength, he'd still be a nuisance fighting himself. As he would stand down saying that, Fine, I'll accept him. And Uncle saw that it was Naruto. She then immediately realized, Damn, it's the, brat, it's the grandson of the, of the Hokage. And she would have just laughed and chuckled saying, Yeah, probably. Anyway, follow me. We're going to the Forest of Death as, well, uh, Training Ground 47, I think. Not the Forest of Death, sorry. The training Ground 47. And everybody got up and decided that they actually would follow Anko. And after following her, they made it to the gate of a giant forest, which we all know to be the great and wonderful Forest of Death. Naruto here wasn't paying attention as of the usual canon. He was still speaking with Sasuke and Sakura, but he picked up quite a high chakra signature from one of the genin, one of the grass village genin, that being. But anyway, he was really speaking to Sasuke and Sakura, saying that, yeah, we're probably going to pass this easy enough, as long as we just stick together and keep calm. As this is when he um, felt uh, something coming towards him. This would have been Anko, who threw the kunai. Yes, Naruto actually had his back turned. This t uh, had his back turned this time, but just before the kunai would actually hit him, um, Naruto would turn around and sand would instantaneously um, shoot out and catch the kunai. Tamari and Konkuro would have realized that this is the same technique as Gara, as they would have looked at Gara, asking, "Gara, did you do that?" Gara would shake his head, replying, "No, I didn't. He has Shikaku as well." As Tamari and Conqueror would have been scared shitless, my guy, seeing as, oh crap, it's another Shikaku. Is he mad too? Will he want blood? No. No. But anyway, um, Naruto would have, the sand would have caught the kunai as Anka would appear behind Naruto, telling him that he should pay more attention. This is when Naruto would look up at Anka, telling her that, I am paying more attention. Don't worry. I know everything that's happening around me. As Anko would say, Oh yeah, then what did I just say? You said that we would actually have to sign some waivers about uh, about the forest of death, seeing as you will not, so that the leaf won't be held responsible for any deaths caused in the forest of death, and that we will have to go get some, each get a scroll. As Anko would be shocked that he picked all that up, Naruto actually didn't. This would have... Let's rewind just a couple of seconds. Not a second, about a minute. To where Naruto was actually speaking to um, Sasuke and Sakura. In his mind, the tailed beast would have been actually paying attention to what Anko was saying. As Shikaku... No, not Shikaku. Well, yeah, Shikaku would have told Naruto that there's an oncoming object. As Naruto would have told him that, sure, go ahead and catch it. As Shikaku would have been happy that he gets to control the sand for once. So he would instant so he would have had Naruto just turn around. Well Naruto would have turned around and Shikaku would have caught the kunai within inches of Naruto's face. Well an inch. A inch of Naruto's face with the sand. And as we fast forward back to where we are at the moment, cause yeah, the tailed beast had told Naruto what Anko had tell said. Anko would then be Pleasantly shocked, but would return to the front as she'd start handing out the forms. 
everybody would sign, and then they would go and retrieve their scrolls. Naruto and his team would um, walk to the gate. When they uh, pass by Naruto, not Naruto, Gara, Konkuro, and Tamari, as Naruto would make a quick pit stop, telling Sakura and Sasuke that, you guys can go on ahead, um, I'll catch up in just a bit. So Naruto would have stayed there for just a couple, se- um, for two minutes, speaking with Gara, telling him that, look, Gara, you need to tell me what's going on. As Gara would look down, uh, kind of saddened, but he would realize that Naruto probably picked up on what was going on. As Gara would have said that, Sans planning an invasion. As Naruto would have said, is that all? As Gara, Gara would then reply with, no, we're allied with a sound. Some guy offered us power and revenge on the leaf. As Naruto, uh, Naruto would then said, say, Thank you for telling me, Gara, but do be careful. I do sense a uh, extremely high-level chakra signature within the group of Genin. Keep your guard up, understand? Gara would nod as he, um, as he would give Naruto a fist bump. Tamari would wonder what's up with Naruto as he would walk off. Tamari would then question Gara, asking, Hey, Gara, what, what's up with him? Garo would then reply with, he's a friend, the person that helped me out with Shi- uh, Shikaku. As Tamari would then realize that Garo is not actually calling Shikaku mother anymore. Naruto must have really talked some sense into him. Uh, um, then Tamari would have realized that Naruto did that all for her little brother. Without being asked, he just did it out of pure kindness. As she'd start developing a bit of feelings, y'all know, the stupid stuff called ships. Damn it, I hate it, because they get love. <laughs> yeah, but like, uh, seriously, I don't, I don't, I'm out of relationships. Nah, just dipped on that. But anyway, um, Naruto would have then quickly caught up to his team, as he would have, as this is when the gates would open. Naruto would have just made it there when the gates would have opened, as they'd all blitz in. Naruto would immediately spread out his senses, using a bit of Kurama's chakra to feel where everybody exactly is, seeing as his sensory um his sensory abilities aren't that good. Yet. Yet. Relax. But anyway, um, Naruto would have spread out his senses as he would have basically sensed a couple of teams nearby, as well as Gara's team. Oh, uh, side note, Gara... Just because he doesn't have Shikaku doesn't mean he doesn't go into fruit. He does have Shikaku, but just because Shikaku isn't influencing him anymore doesn't mean he doesn't go into a battle frenzy. When Gara is in a fight, he still has the tendency to seek blood. He just doesn't have the tendency to kill so much. So he'd probably kill like one or two people and that'd be that for like a week. So, yeah. Anyway, Naruto would have picked up on Gara's chakra signature as well as the really powerful high-level chakra signature that he had uh, felt earlier. So Naruto would have steered his team in the way of one of the weaker teams. This being... Kabuto. Not Kabuto, um... Yoroi's team. As they would have arrived there... I think Kabuto and Yoroi were on the same team? Don't remember. But anyway... Kabuto would have, uh, they would have made it to Yoroi's team as they would have quickly take it, uh, making quick work of them. Naruto encasing them in sand, Sasuke encasing them in Genjutsu, and Sakura punching them till they can't move. As they would have pocketed them for the scrolls, found the scroll, and decided to leave. They'd be zooming through the forest when Naruto would feel Gara's chakra flare. He would have quick, he would have told them to stop and then need to take a detour. Now. As, well... They would have listened, seeing as Naruto here has a lot more intuition and he doesn't tend to be so stupid. So Naruto would quickly um, sp- uh, blitz off into the direction of Gara, as when he'd arrive, he'd see Gara cornered by at least four different teams. These teams being from the grass, the s- uh, the sound. Yes, the sound betrays Gara. No, <laughs> the grass, the sound. The stone, and then the um, cloud. 
Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Let's get rid of the cloud and toss in the rain. Sorry for that noise, guys. My dog. Growling. Anyway, um, yeah. So, toss out the cloud, drag in the rain. The cloud villagers are participating here. Um, but anyway, Gara would have been, Gara and his team would have been surrounded on all four fronts. With Gara holding up a sand barrier. This is when Naruto would have, um... Jumped in behind one of the teams as he'd quickly make quick work of them. As he basically, he wouldn't jump in behind one of the teams. He'd get behind one of the teams as he'd make quick work of them, throwing a bunch of sand shuriken which would have pierced them and ended up killing them. The other three teams would then look in Naruto's direction as they'd see who it was. Naruto at this point would be extremely pissed that they would be trying to attack his friend. As he'd flash through some hand signs. Garo's uh, sand dome would have fallen by now, seeing as um, Shikaku has been keeping it up for a while, and Gara can't maintain it forever. He's had it up for at least um, five minutes now, as the sand dome would have fallen, and he would have seen a massive blue fireball just soaring across the sky towards another team. The other team would have jumped out of the way, but the fireball, as soon as it hit the tree, would have exploded, may causing one of the um, team's teammates to be... Uh, to catch fire, this being Matatabi's blue fire. As Garo would have looked in the direction it came from, as he'd seen Naruto, Naruto would have been really pissed, and I mean royally pissed, so much so that he'd flash through some more hand signs, as he'd spit out two more fireballs, blue ones yet again, as he'd also make shadow clones, which would then use Son Goku's lava release. As they would have jumped down to the ground and used the lava release to make a massive lava puddle. Causing one of the shinobi who would have jumped uh, away from the fireball to fall straight into the lava. Instantly burning to death. The other one would have avoided the um, fireball but would have run into a lava, well, spewing lava. from Naruto's clone who was spewing lava from his mouth. As he would have been caught in the lava as well and burned to death. Gara would have seen that Naruto had so many different chakra releases. This is one of the few times I will have you guys get like a little a little bit of that lava release. You know, that sweet, sweet lava release. And I do apologize for earlier when I said that Naruto had four of the nine of the eight tail beast chakra mastered. Yeah, but it's technically it is eight, seeing as Kurama doesn't really give you a special release. So just saying... Naruto would then flash through some more hand signs, as he'd say, Fire style, fire dragon jutsu, as a blue fire dragon would uh, basically spew from Naruto's mouth yet again, and charge straight at the sound team. The sound team would have been able to avoid this quite, quite easily, seeing as they were Orochimaru's puppets, but still, the dragon would then change course, as it would bite down on one of the um, sound men and explode, causing the sound men to basically turn it chunks of flesh, and the scroll to drop it on the ground near Gara on them. Which Gara would pick up and then put it in his pouch, seeing as that's the scroll they, need, they needed. Gara would then join Naruto in the fray as he'd shoot, um, start launching some sand shuriken at some shinobi, which would actually hit one of them in the leg, causing them to be slowed down. Naruto and Gara would basically be going out on all uh, frenzy kick again Kai usage with Tamari and Konkuro joining in. Sasuke would have uh, threw, thrown some fireballs and um, phoenix flowers as well as a bit of the Uchiha halo dance in between. But he would have... Basically Sakura would have been the only one that couldn't do much besides punch one of the guys that came up close. Which actually worked. She punched him. Yay! <laughs> but anyway, um, Sakura would have been a little bit more of help here, seeing as she would have been deflecting the kunai and stuff. Well, from Sasuke to Mari and Kankuro, where Naruto and Gara have the auto sand defense, which is pretty dope in my book. Just oh. anyway, um, yeah. So that would have happened as Naruto would have exhausted a, quite a bit of his chakra. And Gara as well, as the two t after they had beaten all the teams, the two teams, which would be Naruto and Gara's team, would flop down onto the ground, panting heavily, seeing as they basically just had a all-out brawl with 
four teams. The first team Naruto was able to catch off guard, the second team, not so much. But then anyway, um, Garuda looked over at Naruto, who was lying on his back, panting, and said, Thank, um, thank you, Naruto, you saved me again. His Naruto reply, no problem. <sighs> You're my friend, right? As Gara would have smiled. Tamari would have then pushed herself to where she would be sitting in an upright position as she'd say, Thank you. Naruto would look up asking, oh, For what? As Tamari would then reply with, For saving my little brother. You helped him, and for that I'm eternally grateful. Naruto would say it's not much of a problem, seeing as he and Gara basically have the same problem. Him, Gara, and Sasuke, anyways. As Sasuke would look over to Gara asking, well, Naruto, asking, what do you mean? As Naruto would look over at Sasuke saying, don't you remember? Like, seriously, I, we, 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 led, we, we spoke about this just a couple of days ago. You asked me what was the red bubbly cloak, I told you what was the red bubbly cloak. He's got one of them too. Sasuke would have then looked over to Gara and said, Huh. So you have one too, huh? Gara would then look over and ask, Which one do you have? Uh, Sasuke would say, The nine. Sasuke would ask, Which one do you have? Gara would reply with, The one. Tamari would then look over at Naruto and ask, Which one do you have? Naruto would reply with, All of them. Tamari would have been a little shocked at this, asking, How is it even possible? As Naruto would have said, um, well, according to the beasts and what they remember, when I was four, um, Orochimaru had uh, done some experiments on me and a couple of other kids. I was the only one to survive, but in return I was burdened with all nine of the tailed beasts. As this is when Naruto would have a massive headache, this being from all the tailed beasts yelling out, What do you mean, burden? As Naruto would have clenched, uh, clenched, uh, clenched his head and uh, rolled over as Tamari would ask what's going on as Naruto would reply with they're all screaming at once it hurts ah ah as he would have continued rolling in a circle till they stopped as Naruto would have said finally ah it hurts so much Tamari would then ask if they're not sealed up Naruto would say, no, never. They're my friends. I wouldn't seal them even if I had to. Well, even if it was to save my own life. As Tamari would have asked, what do you mean, friends? As Naruto would have replied with, well, I've had a lonely childhood. Nobody really wanted to be my friend and um, didn't really have parents either. So they were basically with me since I was four. It's because of them that I'm the happy Go lucky kid that I am today. Without them, I quite literally probably would have ended up a bit more sad and alone. Introvert. Yeah, introverted than the one that you see today. As he would have smiled and then said, Well, we probably should get going. As Mari would have said, Hey, y'all are finished racing up. Naruto would have said that. I've got nine different biju. I'm pretty sure a bit of chakra exhaustion isn't going to bother me. As Tamari would have thought about it and said, yeah, probably. As Naruto and his team would have jumped off. But this is when the Grassnin, the female Grassnin would come charging up out of nowhere. Gara would have seen her and he would have yelled out, Naruto! As Naruto would have turned around just in time to see the Grassnin kicking him straight through two trees. Naruto would have hit the uh, trunk of of uh, th the third tree and flopped down onto a branch. This is when the sound then would have been smiling, evilly, as she'd say, Oh, my creation, you've gotten so strong. As Naruto would ask, What do you mean? So, your creation. As Orochimaru would peel off the faces, he would have said, You're mine. Naruto would have remembered that face as he would have been panicking. He would have quivered a bit, but he would have stood his ground. Orochimaru would then charge in with a bunch of kunai and throwing a bunch of jutsu at Naruto, which the sand defense would be blocking. Seeing as Naruto was basically having a panic attack at the moment, Sasuke would have wondered what's going on as he would have seen Naruto 
in a state that he had never seen him before. A state of pure and utter panic. The, the sand dome would have formed around Naruto and Orochimaru would be battling. And I mean battling to get through to Naruto. As he would be scratching and clawing, cutting and throwing jutsu at the sand wall. It becoming thinner and thinner. As Naruto would have been panicking more and more, seeing as this is the person that experimented on him, the person that tortured him, as the tailed beast would have seen Naruto in such a fray, as they would have said, Don't worry, Naruto, we'll help you. We're here to protect you. Don't don't stress Naruto. As Orochimaru would have broken through the sand um, barrier, he would have then grabbed Naruto as he would have chucked him aside and said, Why aren't you fighting? I want to see how strong you've gotten. As Naruto would have gotten up, he would have been shaking, but he would flash, if he would um weave some hand signs as he spit out a blue fireball saying, Fire style, fireball jutsu, as the blue fireball would shoot out towards Orochimaru. Orochimaru would avoid it and that, and he would start throwing kunai. The sand defense would pop up and Naruto would then yell out, Water style. Water bullet. As Orochimaru would have seen that these bullets are moving a bit faster than usual. Orochimaru would have liked where this is going, but Naruto would have then decided that he needs more. He would have quickly then made nine, well, eight more clones. As each of them would basically use one of the tailed beast special abilities. Naruto would be using Shikaku's sand shurikens. The second one would be shooting out blue fireballs. The third one would be shooting water jutsu after water jutsu. The fourth would be using some lava style uh, techniques, which Orochimaru would be uh, avoiding. The um, fifth would then start using Kyoken. Is um, Kyoku? I, I can't remember the name. Hang on, let's go check, shall we? Naruto, Naruto, Naruto. Hey, there. Here. I think it's Kyoku, Kyoken. No! It's not that one, that one's terrible. Here, um... Kokuo! Damn it. Kokuo would have... Um, the fifth clone would be using Kokuo's... Um, swift release. As he would have been basically just dancing around. Orochimaru. Trying to cut into him. The third... Well, the, the sixth one would be using... Um, Saiken's acid. Well, acid bubbles. As he'd be blowing bubbles after bubbles. Shooting them all at Orochimaru. And the seventh would be using the string style from Shomei. The eighth would be using the ink style, trying to catch Orochimaru in sticky goop. And the last one would be charging up a Biju Dama in his hands, seeing as Kurama had put him in a, a four tailed cloak. As it would be charging up a, a Biju Dama, getting ready to launch it at Orochimaru. Orochimaru would have see, uh, felt the influx in Chakra and looked over, seeing that the Biju Dama was being formed. He knew he was strong, but even he couldn't survive one of those. As he quickly took out um, Kokuo, the, uh, the clone using Kokuo's uh, um, swift release. Remember, even if Naruto is using swift release from a tailed beast, Orochimaru is still faster than actual Naruto, and swift release is just like a two times boost. Um, I'm not sure how much, how many times speed boost, but he, um, yeah, uh, he's not. That it's it's like a speed boost and then also um steam style which you can use. As Naruto would have destroyed um Koku the clone using Kokuo's swift style. He would have then charged at uh, the thrown a bunch of kunai at the clone using Yuki's ink, but the clone would have dodged as this is when Orochimaru would have substituted with one of the kunai and appeared right behind the um clone using Yuki, he would stab him and then s proceed to stab uh, the Chomei clone, which had shut out a string towards him. The string would have caught onto his arm and wrapped his left left arm, yeah, his left arm to his body, and Orochimaru could do nothing about that. So he would then charge straight at, um, try to charge straight at 
the clone preparing the beach dharma. But this is when the um, clone using the six tails ability would be shooting a, a lot more acid at Orochimaru. The um, bubbles, the acid bubbles from Saiken. But Orochimaru would be quick to shoot, shoot a fireball at the clone just as it was dispelling bubbles, causing that one to explode as well. The lava release um, would have caused a massive, basically, floodgate in front of the um, QB. Uh, the basically the clone using the Bijudama at the moment, as Orochimaru knew that he couldn't get over this or through this, and that he'd need to try to get around it, but it was massive. Orochimaru then decided that he would he would use it now, so Orochimaru would basically start running to the edges as the clone would throw some lava at it, but Orochimaru would immediately substitute with a clone. Yes, you can do that. You can substitute with something else. Basically, Orochimaru would have substituted the clone, causing the clone to get burned by its own lava. As Orochimaru would have then head straight towards the, um, the Biju Dama. Um, the Nine-Tailed Cloak using clone. But he would have been interrupted by a water style jutsu coming from the clone using um isobu his abilities as he would have shot out multiple water bullets as well as a water dragon and a water shock wave which orochimaru would have been annoyed at seeing as he wanted to destroy the damn clone with a biju dama or if you don't know a teal tail the beast bomb so he would have quickly decided that he had enough of this as he would then use a lightning release jutsu on the water which would have ran straight through back to the clone Shocking it and exp making it explode. This is when the fire style, well, Matatabi using clone, would shoot out blue fireball, some phoenix flowers, a, fle a phoenix flower, as well as dragon flame bombs, which would have all hit near Orochimaru, causing a massive field of fire between them. Orochimaru would have scoffed at this as he would have shot a bunch of fireball of his own straight at the clone. But the clone would have used a fire style fire dragon jutsu as it would have torn right through all the fireballs. But this wasn't a, a distraction from Orochimaru as he would have made it all the way straight to the clone. Well, using the fireball as cover would have gotten to where the clone was and stabbed it straight through the... Oh. Sorry guys, straight through the heart. He now had a clear path straight to the Biju Dama, um, the nine tail that Biju... The clone using the tailed beast bomb, as he would have charged straight at it. Naruto would have tried to use the sand jutsu, but Orochimaru would have dodged it straight out. But just before he would actually um, get close enough to take out the clone that was using the Biju Dama, it would launch the tailed beast bomb straight at Orochimaru, who would then jump out of the way, and the tailed beast bomb would just go hurling through the forest. As um, it would explode off in the distance, where no team was, mind you, and it was not a full powered Biju Dama, seeing as uh, if that were to happen, he would have taken over the entire, um, what you call it, he would have taken over the entire, he would have taken over Naruto, and he would have caused massive problems. But um, it would have taken out like let's say a eighth of the forest, which Hiruzen would have noted that there was a. Biju bomb flying, uh, flying through the forest. So he would have quickly made his way there and followed the path of destruction. But Sakusuke and Sakura would have been watching in awe as Naruto would have pulled off all these awesome techniques. But Orochimaru still would have been stronger as he would have taken out the nine tailed clone with a five pronged seal. Orochimaru would have then looked at Naruto saying that, Yes, you've gotten strong. I want your body. As Orochimaru would extend his neck. This time, Naruto's uh, sand barrier didn't have enough time. Sand defense, sorry. The auto sand defense didn't have enough time. As Orochimaru would bite down on Naruto's neck. And Naruto would yell out in pain. As he would fall to his knees with the curse mark activating. Do note this is a specialized curse mark by Orochimaru. Seeing as he's the one that experimented on Naruto. And he wanted all the biju in, well, to begin with. He wanted to control all the biju to begin with. So he developed a special curse mark, which would him allow him to take over a basically Jinchuriki. 
as it would have been um just imagine you know Sasuke's uh how it's on his um where it's placed on him yeah it would be on Naruto's right side and the pattern for this one would be a Rinnegan so Naruto would be there with a Rinnegan pattern as it would basically Naruto would yell out in pain as he'd fall to his knees but this is when something unexpected would happen. The tailed beast would react to Naruto's pain. As ten tails... As Naruto would go into a chakra cloak. But ten tails would sprout. I know what you're thinking. What? How is this even possible? Sorry, not ten tails. Nine tails. Um, a cloak from each one of the tailed beasts. A, one a, once, a one tailed chakra cloak from all the tailed beasts. As... Naruto would have um, lost complete control at this point, as one of the tailed beasts would have been in complete control. This one being the nine tails. He had enough. He hates seeing Naruto get hurt. He hates seeing the boy suffer. And the other beast would just be lending Kurama uh, all the power, as the ni as nine tails would be would sprout from Naruto's back. His teeth would elongate, his nails would sharpen, his worst commands would define more. His eyes wouldn't have one set pattern. They'd constantly be shifting between eight different eyes. As Naruto would, would charge straight at Orochimaru. Orochimaru would have been surprised at the seeing that he can access with the one-tailed cloak from each of them. Amazing. As Naruto would have then charged straight at Orochi. Well, Naruto would be charging straight at Orochimaru. And he would be slashing and attacking at Orochimaru. Orochimaru wouldn't be able to avoid all of these as he would get cut on parts of his body. His clothes torn. Blood leaking. And Orochimaru would just be happy seeing that his host would be this strong. The host... That he, the body that he would be taking is this strong. As he would be avoiding most of the attacks but still getting hit. Orochimaru would be happier, getting happier and happier as time passes. But Naruto, he would be getting more and more angry. As he started, he makes, uh, as um, the Ninetales realize something, he can't, he, he'll have to use it again. He would have then made a clone as the clone would have stayed back. Start to, to start charging up a biju, um, a tailed beast bomb, which Orochimaru would have noticed, but he couldn't this time, he couldn't get to um, the clone, seeing as we have a nine tailed cloak Naruto charging straight at Orochimaru. Which I'm not gonna lie, it, it, it's scary. Just imagine one person with all the Kike Genkai of the tailed beasts with. Every single, like, using a one-tailed cloak from every single beast at the same time. That's scary, my guy. Scary. So, anyway, the clone would be charging up a, a tailed beast bomb. As Naruto would be going into a more vicious fighting style. As he'd become more animalistic. The scared Sasuke and Sakura. As this wasn't Naruto. They knew Naruto. This wasn't what he would do. As the beast would have been yelling out in anger, seeing as Orochimaru would dare hurt the Jinchuriki, as they would be fighting more fiercely, more animalistic, as they would have landed a solid hit on Orochimaru, well, one massively solid hit on Orochimaru, sending him through five trees as he'd crash into the six and land onto the branch. He w Orochimaru would then use the snake, um, Shedding Jutsu as he'd regurgitate himself just to be met with a Biju bomb fl uh, in his direction. Orochimaru would quickly use the reverse summoning Jutsu as another eighth of the forest would have been destroyed. Just in time, uh, as Hiroshima would arrive just in time to see Naruto in a nine, -tail a nine tailed cloak. A nine one tailed cloak? No. A one tailed cloak. You know what, I'm just gonna call it a nine-tailed cloak, period. Because this is too flipping hard. Okay, so let's quickly do math. We have nine plus eight, that gives us 17, plus another seven would give us 24, plus six would give us 30, plus five is 35, then it's 39, with a four, then we have a three, which is then 42, I believe. Then we have 44 and 45. So it's a 45-tailed cloak if Naruto accesses all the tails. Which is kind of dope. But anyway. Yeah. So, um. 
Naruto would have been in a nine-tailed cloak. Just remember, I can I'll I'll be stacking some of these later on, but it doesn't matter right now. He would have been in a nine-tailed cloak as Hiroshima would have arrived, telling Naruto that Naruto, what are you doing? You can't let the beast take over. As this is when the Biju would speak, telling him, "We do." Well, basically, it'll have to be like a Trinity voice, but that doesn't matter because I can't do Trinity voices. So it would be, We didn't take over. He passed out and did the man that experimented on him. Came to attack. We took initiative and tried to keep him safe. As Hiruzen would have realized that the beasts are protecting Naruto yet again. As Naruto, as they would have said, we, we can't maintain this form for any longer. Please protect him. As the cloak would disappear and Naruto would collapse, Hiruzen would look at Naruto, who had his shirt torn straight off because of the massive influx of chakra. His um, regular pants would have now been shorts, and his shinobi sandals would have been in tatters. Not tatters, in just pieces, not pieces... It would have been basically worn out to the point where it's basically just a tiny piece of cloth holding on to the bottom part of the shoe. That would be that. He doesn't want to realize that that was a massively powerful influx of chakra and it must have torn through most of his clothes. As he then noticed something. A curse mark? No. No, no, no! He would be flashing through Hiruzen's mind as... He would have seen the curse mark. This would have enraged him. It would have pissed him off. Seeing as Orochimaru gave his grandson a curse mark. And that's where I'll be ending this video off, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And I will be releasing the next part pretty soon. Since I can now permanently keep my phone. And the exams are passed. Thank you for listening. And enjoy your day. Anime Titan, signing out. Peace.